So Microsoft and Windows 11 still haven't made it easy to find out where apps are being installed on your computer and how to create a shortcut link to open that app up. This video will show you how to find the apps folder, how to show it within your file explorer and then how to create a shortcut link that you might want to put on your desktop. So if that is something you're interested in then please do carry on watching this video. Okay, so first off, let's have a look at what the problem is. Now, as of November 2022, this is what it's like in Windows 11. If I open an app, so I know Affinity Designer is currently installed as an app within Windows 11. And if I right click on that app, you would expect me then be able to pin that to my desktop to maybe create a shortcut or something like that. There's nothing at all in the contextual menu. If I click on app settings, I think, well, maybe it is in the app settings itself and I can do something from here. All it tells you in here is obviously a list, a bunch of stuff in here, but you can see there's just some sort of general settings in here. So no way to pin or look at the file structure, whether installed or anything like that from this menu in here. Again, if I go into installed apps and see my full list and you think, well, maybe there's something in here I can do. Maybe I can pin this to my desktop within here. So you can see all the app. There's my affinity designer. Click on the three dots. I've got advanced options. And all that does is take me back to the same menu that I was in earlier. So obviously I've got a few options in there, but nothing to help me do the task that I want to do. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to open Windows File Explorer. I'm going to click on the C drive and I'm going to go to Program Files. Double click on there, scroll down and then look for Windows Apps in the W's. And you can see that I cannot see it. So to make this visible, I need to click on the three dots at the top. Go to Options and then this is the folder options. Click on View and then scroll to where it says Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click Apply and then click OK. Now you will be able to see the folder if I do that, but if I just click cancel, just show you the other way you can do it by going to view, go down to show, down to hidden items, tick there, and then scroll down and you should be able to see the Windows apps folder. But I will just turn that back off just to prove a point, tick that, scroll back down, and you can see it is now gone again. So if I go back up to the three dots, use the other option, click on options, click on view, click on the show hidden files and folders, click apply, click OK, scroll back down and then there's the folder. So we're going to double click where it says Windows apps and then we're presented with you don't currently have permission to access this folder. Click continue and then Windows apps will say you have been denied permission to access this folder. So where it says security tab in blue, click on that. Make sure that you're in this security tab in the Windows app properties and click advanced. Now from here, it was going to say unable to display the current owner. So we need to change that by clicking on again, the change, the blue link there. Now your desktop will be different than mine, but mine's obviously got my desktop name there. Make sure you're in the right folder, C program files, windows, apps, and your desktop will be listed in the location. We're going to click advanced in the bottom left hand corner. And then over to the right hand side, click on where it says find now. And then if you like I am and you are presented with a couple of different administrator accounts, just make sure you pick the same icon that I'm showing on the screen at the moment. Obviously your desktop will be different like I said earlier. So pick on the administrator account. And once you've got the right one selected, like I have here, then click on where it says OK. So at this point, it's worth just double checking everything. We will get another option to back out in a second, but this is the second to last window. So make sure that you've got um, the correct desktop and administrators is in the object name. And then we're going to click on OK. And that will then take us to the advanced security settings for your Windows apps folder. So again, double check everything in here uh, before we take ownership. And once we've cleared everything click apply and it's going to say okay you need to restart everything and it will ask us again so click ok here and then click ok again and then ok again and then close the window and then i'm going to close windows explorer and then open windows explorer back up and i'm going to go to c program files and then find my windows apps folder so scroll to the bottom double click mm -hmm. i'll get the security warning again Click continue, but this time you're just going to have to give it a bit of time. Depending on how quick your computer is, what this is doing now is writing your security permissions or it's checking that you have security permissions to access this particular folder. Once it has done that and written the uh, new security information to that folder and it lets you access it, you can then search for the file that you're looking for. Now, the quickest way to do this instead of scrolling through them all is actually go to the top right hand corner and I'm going to search for designer because that's the one that I want to add the shortcut uh, to to my desktop. Now you can see it's got the folder there. Uh, but the actual file that I want is right at the bottom, this one here, designer.exe. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm just going to go to open file location and that will take me straight 
to the file that I want to do. And you can double check it at the top, it says Windows Apps, it's in the Serif folder. Now I can right click on here now, and for my particular case, I want to show more options because I want to create a desktop shortcut, show more options, and then where it says send to, I can then go to desktop create shortcut. And that is it. That is finally how to create a desktop shortcut for an app in Windows 11. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do hit the old thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It all helps my channel grow. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.